survivors and their stories of sexual abuse by clergy in the Catholic Church. Ten of these victims met today with some organizers telling their story of pain ahead of the meeting kickoff on Thursday. His story of sexual abuse is so famous, a movie was made about it, Spotlight. Phil Saviano says as an 11-year-old boy in Boston, he thought Father David Holly's interest in him made him important until it went too far. It was a, a, a tremendous sense of being trapped because I didn't know how to, he would, he would, he would corner me and I would verbalize excuses like I'm going to be late for supper or I have to get back to my paper and he was not taking no for an answer. He said the months that ensued were gruesome, but the worst part was seeing the priest in confession. I went into confession and I said whatever my sins were, yelled at my mother or whatever, and then I said, and you know the rest. And there was silence coming from the other side of that screen. In Vancouver, Canada, Leona Huggins also has a personal story of abuse beginning in 1974. She didn't realize the extent of it until taking a child abuse prevention course in the 90s. I recognized that that was what happened to me and I, was, I discovered that he was starting a youth group where he would be working with children and that concerned me so I went to the police at much personal cost. Coming out of their three and a half hour meeting with the members of the summit organizing committee, the victim said it was a positive meeting, but rules need to be enforced. Abusing, a, raping a, a boy or a girl or abusing vulnerable adults or vulnerable people has been wrong since the Middle Ages, in the first century, now and it will be before. So that's not an excuse and that needs to end. Although we were told that the Pope wouldn't be there at this meeting, um, we were disappointed that he wasn't because he called this summit. He said he wanted to make a difference. I say if there was ever a good time for transparency, now is it. But you have to give concrete signs that you really, you know, you're, you're coming up with a good plan to address this. And it can't be just talk. But they also feel an intense responsibility. We feel that we represent so many survivors from all over the world and it's a heavy weight to, to have when you um, carry and you think of all those people that are counting on you to make a positive change. After this encounter, the victims now believe the summit is an educational session for bishops to understand abuse instead of a meeting on enforcing zero tolerance. They told me a separate meeting was organized for Monday after the conclusion of the summit to create an action plan. The meeting will be with victims, the organizing committee, and upper-level Vatican staff. At the Vatican, Melissa Butts, Currents News. Back to you in New York, Liz.